951, 952. Lance Lynn and the Cardinals are at plus 156. Everybody's darling here. Paul Skeens and the Pirates at minus 176. Total of eight with some juice to the under at minus 120. All right, B-Dub, you're back. The model is back. We got things in the mixer here. But I got to ask you, Paul Skeens has been sensational. Just finished a seven, seven innings of no-hit baseball. I thought he should have stayed in. I sent you guys the graphic on Nolan Ryan throwing 278 pitches in 1974. Of course, time is different. Times are different now, and he's a rookie. But I got to ask you, we all love Paul Skeens, and on the surface, lock in Paul Skeens and run with it. But is there any concern? Because we know the one nobody throws great games every single game. There's no undefeated pitcher who doesn't have that blow up game. It feels like it's coming. This feels like it could be the week, the weird week. So I'm a little nervous on Paul Skeens. I don't know if that's just my weird brain. Like, what do I do with that? Because yeah, I it's feel such like a pessim- it's, it's such a pessimistic attitude, Kyle. I've got to oh, say, I mean, there's really there's it. really nothing in his line, nothing that I can see. Maybe, Corby, there's something in the uh, you know underlying stat cast metrics that I'm missing. But as far as this guy goes, he's just been incredible. And, and Kyle... Do you know who's got the highest strikeout percentage on the board today? I'm going to guess it's – wait, it's not Chris Sale. I'm going to guess it's it's Paul Skeens if I had it, to take it is a wild Paul guess. Skeens. You know, and I missed it yesterday. You, you could have guessed Hogan Harris, but that, that turned out very well for you. Hogan Harris. Uh, in fact, Hogan Harris. Hogan Harris. Do, 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 do. I told you I would do that if those A's double results hit, and you've done it twice in a row. So I think one song is enough. I, I won't repeat the Hogan's Hero tune, but you guys I got it. it one. Okay, cool. All right, so as far as this game goes, I played it first five. It's the base winner, first leg of the of the base winner parlay, first five. Uh, I think the first five is like minus 191. I've got it priced out at minus 214. Uh, there's a lot to like, as we as we alluded to with Skeens, best strikeout percentage on the board. Incredible command rate. The BBK, 0.12, that is elite. Stuff Plus is at 89th percentile and hard hit per nine, 93rd percentile. Uh, I do like the St. Louis bullpen, so I did play it first five. You look at the offenses, and both offenses are kind of offensive, actually. In a bad way, not in a good way. Uh, and so I got 20, 22nd for, for Pittsburgh, 20, or 23rd for Pittsburgh, uh, 22nd for St. Louis. So equally crappy offenses. But I think it's a situation where, and for me, I've had real good success playing the first five with Skeens uh, over the year. I'm going to stay with it. And like Kyle, you know, I've, I've, I told you a million times, stay with that double result. And it works for you, and you're so good at it. So you stay with the double result. I'll stay with Paul Skeens here until he, until he breaks down. <laughs> I don't see it happening this game. First leg of the base winner parlay uh, is, is the Pirates on the first five, Kyle. Yeah, and look, I mean, everything, B-Dub's right, Corby. Like, there's no indication that he's going to fall off. But this is baseball, and it just, there's something, especially after they throw a no-hitter. Was it from Valdez last year we talked about? He went out through that no-hitter nine innings, and then he fell off a cliff. Now, Skeens didn't go super deep. He threw, what, 99 pitches, I want to say, or he got right to 100. It was right around there. Took him out after seven. But I just get... Weird vibes after a pitcher's had a day like that. Do do you have any of that going on, or am I just being way too cynical here? Um, In a lot of cases, maybe. Uh, But I I think what's different is Paul Skeen's, first off, very young. Uh, I think that that helps the ability to to bounce back. Second, he has amazing stuff. Like, even if his stuff doesn't look great, his secondary stuff is still some of the most elite pitches in all of baseball. I actually... I, I'm going to have a live button here, and it's going to contradict exactly what I'm about to say. But I do think Paul Seans, at some point, is due for some regression. We see him go from, like, I think 150 to one Cy Young to eight to one. Inevitably, there's going to be a price uh, differential in market that probably thinks that he's a little better than he is. He's great. He's amazing. I don't have bad words to say about him. Um, but I do inevitably think, like, it, you can steam something too high. Uh, the, the best team in the world at some times will still get too high of prices. All of that being said, where this didn't get steamed, and I will gladly take the live button. Thanks, Kevin, for the uh, graphic, even though uh, I'm slow to the point. Is the double results, Pirates, Pirates, uh, minus 105 bet US. We see minus 140 uh, for the first five run line. So getting 35 cents, this just seems like a price that uh, I couldn't lay low on. Even though I, I, I made this fair value of the game itself lower than market, uh, I do think that this double result just didn't move with the market move. So take the double results, Pirates, minus 105. Uh, and feel pretty happy backing schemes at that price. Yeah, and you're getting to fade Lance Lynn, right? So 
I just can't do it. I'm just in that mode. You know, it's like a team on a winning streak when they've won 10, 11, 10 in a row, 11 in a row. And you're like, damn it, I know they're going to lose eventually. So I can't jump on it. But for purposes of the show, we've got the first leg of the base winner parlay. We're taking the Pirates on the first five and Corby, a live bet to the Pirates double result at minus 105. B-Dub, what do you got to add? Are you going to feel that way about Hogan Harris, though? Like, I, I think you're Never. just going to play Hogan Harris till he loses, which I, I would do, too. Hogan Harris, if Hogan Harris was next to me yesterday, he's getting, at minimum, an OPHJ. I absolutely love me some Hogan Harris. Yeah, you'll have to look that up, kid. I, I guess I'm going to have to because we don't want to get in trouble here. <laughs> it's not too Say bad. it again. What, what is it so I can look it up? <laughs> An OPHJ, if for those of you who used to watch the show Workaholics, it was a great comedy back in the day with Adam DeMamp and those guys, uh, you'll know what it means. But Hogan Harris, I love me some Hogan Harris. Hey, Everyone I'm... loves Paul Skeens. What do you got, Corby? I'll, I'll give you a little tangent, but I was at the uh, boxing match this weekend. Hulk Hogan, first row, in his just like cut off shirt like everyone's dressed up this is like you know boxing has turned into this formality it's kind of like a ball at this point like people don't go to watch boxing they go to to intermingle and hang out Hulk Hogan and his wife just sitting there mustache and all in a cut off t-shirt still the crowd favorite he uh <laughs> camera panned to him panned to other celebrities everybody's like yeah cool and there's Hulk Hogan in place erupted so Hulk Hogan still has the uh the pull that people think he does yeah, and uh, look, the chat box is getting it. The chat box gets the OPHJ. And I just looked it up, Kyle. Box. Yeah, pro probably good that we did, <laughs> didn't get into that one. <laughs> you know, they can't all be winners. You know what I mean? Again, we're trying to find love out of nothing at all. I've been listening to way <laughs> too much air supply lately. I don't know why. Uh, but shout out to the chat box. Our guy Sharks in here does a great job on our NBA show. Uh, someone said I had a nice jaw. I appreciate that. Uh, we had B-Dub, looks like he created the algorithm for Facebook. That's hilarious because you are a genius and you probably could do it. So uh, that's fantastic. But again, just a reminder before we move on to our next game, Corby's locking in double result Pirates at minus 105 live and the first leg of the base winner parlay, the Pirates in the first five innings. Let's head to... 